Okay, so hey guys, in this tutorial, we're going to be building this card component. So, okay, so the starter files are from Front End Mentor, which is a website which can get amazing challenges to build. So, make sure to download the starter files in the description because you get access to all these files. So, right now we are on the HTML. I just have an empty browser window. I'm going to click go live. So, on the HTML file, and uh, we, this is the HTML, this is the text, and uh, we're gonna start building it. So, first of all, we're gonna have a card. Okay, I think that's pretty obvious. Damn it, payments, loading, notes. Okay, got it. So, we're gonna have a D class of card. So, inside this div class of card, we want to have a card. image right so inside the card image we want to have the actual image the image is going to be equal to assets images then illustration article image and here we're going to have the card body so here we're going to have a button which is going to have a learning and we're going to have a small paragraph which is this Yet. Then we're also going to have a H2. It says HTML and CSS foundations. Then we're going to have a paragraph that says this. So, what you want to keep in mind is that cards have structure. They have structure top, body, then we go to the footer. So, say something like card dash footer so what we want to do here is i want to have an avatar okay. avatars are simply working on the principal flexbox Oops. we're going to have an image here and that's going to be equal to slash assets as images then the avatar dot web and we're going to have a paragraph here that says uh, greg Hopper. okay and that's that for the HTML. Okay, now so now we're going to link it to the CSS file. So I'm going to say link CSS style of CSS. So now we can actually save and see the format of the video. And if you want to know why how I have this nice extension and why I'm able to code at super amazing speed, there is a video I made on Visual Studio Code extension, which I which I promise that you should learn. I wish I promise you should do. So the first thing that we're going to do is that we are going to define CSS variables because we, because these days it's pretty cool and yeah, we want to feel like a cool kid. Now no, we, sorry, we can just copy. Doing it all every single time, like building calls manually, it's not really nice at all. The variables are pretty, pretty amazing. You might not have used them before. If you are watching this video, you, you probably haven't used them, but you probably would but uh, you probably don't use it all the time like me. I didn't use it all the time before. But yeah, I used it for one project and I was like, damn, CSS variables are cool. I haven't been using this in this way. Okay now, so I have a variable. And if you're wondering what this root is, like it's like an element, like the it's like the entire you know I just just browse it on NBM or something. It's something like it's like the entire document. It's higher than the HTML selector. Yeah, it's higher than this guy. Higher than this. Just gonna put that here. Okay, now let's look. So, what am I gonna do? Simple. I'm gonna start with the body. I want to say margin zero. I want to say padding zero. And let's forget about the pad. What we want to do is I want to give it a background color of bar. Yeah. Okay, now it has that nice background color. So, what we want to do is I want to say display flex justify content center. 
to center it on the x-axis and when I center to center it on the y-axis and the body doesn't take up the full height by default which is pretty good So we want to give our card. So, so card. I'm going to give this a width of three. I'm going to give this a max width, and I'll come back to what max width is in a moment. Come back and come back to what max width is in a minute and why is. You could just say FFF of that one of the code here. So, we're going to say uh, white. Sorry, it's supposed to be with a capital letter. Okay, so we're going to give it a background of white. Okay, so we have that here. Now, so everything. That to, to make our styling effective, we have to remove all the unnecessary margin and all the unnecessary padding. Okay. Now it has shrink, right? Let's put this side by side. That's nice. So what we want to do is I want to come to the car dash top. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Car dash image. What we want to do is I want to give this a padding of 20 pixels. Hmm. Since I'm not quite expressing the way we are, because the image is not taking up a hundred percent width, this can be easily fixed. Because when something is not taking up a hundred percent width, it's not going to be probably centered. Observe, fifty percent, and we save it. You can see it's not properly centered. So it's the same principle. But when you allow something to take up the full width, it's going to be probably centered. Let's say border radius twenty pixels. Why is it not bother? Oh, sorry. We want this to be applied here to the card image and to the card itself. Okay, so what we want to do, we want to say card body and the card dash footer. We want to all give them a padding of 20 pixels. Okay, that's looking nice. So this guy, so you want to see our button, we'll come back to our button in a minute because the spacing is not quite right. Come back to the button in a minute, say something like padding 8 pixels, 18 pixels, give it a background. When you're staying in the button, the padding is very, very important. Generally, the small one is, is the first one is the small one and the, the the second value is normally the bigger value. This one is top and bottom, this one is left and right. Yeah. So that is my recipe. So when I try to the value like 5 and 10, 10 and 20, and it doesn't work, I just keep on trying and trying and trying. I come to get 8 and 18, I did not just do this one. It's not just, it wasn't just intuition. Okay, now. But one of these, I want to give it a border radius. Five pixels, outline, no. and then border. No. Okay, I know why we aren't seeing the project properly. Okay, we need to apply the proper font. Font face, want to say font face, font. This is how you apply a downloaded font. My font could be literally anything. Then you source to the actual your font so, don't force slash go into the design or sorry asset folder then go to the font ah, so i'm not going to use a variable font i'm going to use ah, i want to give everything a font family this font okay now we can properly see the project coming up nicely now so now our button was just we need for our buttons also as a front width. Yeah. Yeah. We'll change this in a moment. 
So what we want to do is I want to say something like uh, card body paragraph cover bar three. It's affecting this guy. So what we do, I've been thinking it for a while. What we do is I will take this two and put it outside here. Call this card mid. Mm -hmm. What we do to card middle because if you look at the space and there's quite a bit of space from this one and this one, that is why we have to create a new card. Actually, you should actually call it card section. I think that is more name so we don't name things crazy. And follow good conventions here. Add section. So as you know, what is wrong with it is that we have to give it a padding of 20 pixels. Five times four and see the now. So now what we want to do is that we want to give it zero pixels padding on the so top and bottom padding, we're not giving it any padding on the top and bottom, just on the left and right. So let's come to the card filter. We'll come back to that next one. So what do you want to do on the card filter? Sorry, no. yeah, on the card filter, we're already giving it display flex. So let's come to the yeah, card filter image. I say with 100%. Oops, oops, oops. Sorry, not 100%. Uh, let's make it 30 pixels. Uh, 40. So, avatar. Display flex. I can see it's not properly centered. Here. So we say align items center vertical align centering. And now we'll do is I'll come to this image, I'll give this guy a margin right of 25 pixels. I don't think that's enough. Let's make it 10. And you can see that there is sufficient space in between that and that. But this is not yet done. It's not yet perfect. Spacing is not yet perfect. Yeah, so first of all, we have to give space between the button and this published. So we say card section button. Margin button. Because we give it part now the inside of the button. dash body h2 right or is it h2 that we use and it's h2 so what we want to do here is i want to see again the same thing margin bottom okay. maybe we might be giving 15 seconds So what is missing is for us to have that slick box shadow. So box shadow is very pixel tint. And let's make this 18 pixel. Zero pixels, 10 pixels, and it's 10 pixels. What do you guys think box shadow? Let's say I'm giving you 8, let's make it 15. Okay. Our box shadow is doing it. So we are pretty much done with this, but to make to add the last few touches, add this text. These texts are not bold. So what we'll do is I will duplicate this, we'll duplicate this, and add we say, we say call it my font bold. Ok, 
in my font extra bold so for places like the button the h2 we're gonna add those one so the button is gonna have that and we're gonna add important so that you can So just just make it more specific so font width 900 why isn't it bold Stuff. And yeah, yeah, what that's not so important. Let's just go to the responsive viewport now. So is our website responsive? It has to click that check mark. So let's go full screen with this one. So this is what with 350 pixels max width though when it's going to you see nothing changes but when we get to something like when we get to a viewport that is less than 350 pixels it starts to shrink because it starts to shrink and i think it looks okay so that's it thank you for watching merry christmas